Praise the Lord, dear brothers and sisters. Thanks for watching our video and welcome to our channel. Today, I want to talk to you about You Can Make It. If you look at the scriptures, 2 Peter chapter 2, verse 4 through 10, it's written there, for if God did not spare angels when they sinned, but cast them into hell and committed them to chains of gloomy darkness to be kept until the judgment, if he did not spare the ancient world, but preserved Noah, a herald of righteousness, with seven others, when he brought a flood upon the world of the ungodly, if by turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah to ashes, he condemned them to extinction, making them an example of what is going to happen to the ungodly. And if he rescued righteous Lord, greatly distressed by the sensual conduct of the wicked, for as that righteous man lived among them day after day, he was tormenting his righteous soul over their lawless deeds that he saw and heard. Then the Lord knows how to rescue the godly from trials and to keep the unrighteous under punishment until the day of judgment. And especially those who indulge in the lust of defiling passion and despise authority. When we were kids, our parents kept on telling us about the things that are harmful for us. Whenever we were playing, when we went to school, when we were in the pool or playing with the water, they always warned us about the consequences of not being in discipline, being careful and being serious. Even today, I see parents warning their kids to beware of those things in homes, for example, kitchen supplies or cleaning supplies under the sink. The kids probably wondered why their parents were so serious about this point. And it was because they loved them, they cared about them and wanted to keep them from harm. Peter has the same kind of tone and attitude when he tells the church family to beware of false prophets and false teachers using four historic examples. Number one, the angels. Some angels in heaven rebelled against God, were kicked out, have no possibility of salvation anymore, and are continuing their fights against God on the earth by empowering these false religious te teachers and leaders to twist the scriptures. It's the same old trick of the dragon, the evil one, the Satan, as he did in the Garden of Eden. Number two, the ancient world. God patiently waited 120 years for folks to repent of their constant sin, continuous sin. Even sending Noah to preach and providing an ark as a means of escape, escape from sin. Everyone, everyone kept laughing until it started to rain and they had start to swim. Number three, Sodom and Gomorrah. The cities of Sodom and Gomorrah were filled with such constant naughtiness that even the two angels God sent were chosen to be sexually assaulted by the men in those two towns. So God turned on the self-cleaning oven for both cities. Number four, Lot. Lot was a believer who foolishly moved his family to live in Sodom and Gomorrah. God had them run for their lives before he torched the town. And his wife looked back because she longed for her old licentious lifestyle, escaping to the hills. His daughters devised a plan to get him drunk and have him impregnate them. It just goes to show not only do we need to get out of hell, we need to get hell out of us. In each example, there is a perversion with defiling passion and rebellion with despising authority. 
the same demonic spirits are at work in every day including our day this day today and always trying to find a way to entice christians to join the conga line to the pit thankfully for those whose eyes are open god always provides a way to escape as he knows how to rescue the godly from trials the key is this when trials come choose god and godliness surrender yourself to god and he will make a new being out of you he will change you and your circumstances he will change the situation around you he will help you to fight the darkness around you he will rescue you from self destruction so brothers and sisters if you have done already this is the time that you accept jesus as your personal savior and redeemer thank you very much god bless you we request you to like and share our videos like and share our facebook page and subscribe to our youtube channel you can also send your prayer requests through our phone numbers or whatsapp or email us you can share your love gifts and valuable donations through our paypal account or log on to our website arctv.org